No, I spent a bit of time in America myself. Oh, you spent a bit of time over there? Yeah, I've had a little bit of time over in uh, New York Ooh. for a little while, yeah. Well, I've only been to LA um, as a young man, actually, as a bit of a teenager. My oh, mum okay. got a transfer over there and um, with her work, so I had to go over there. And As yeah. a nurse? She was a nurse, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 that's right. So just trying to get a bit more money together, you know, solo mum. Yeah, sure. All that sort of stuff. Oh, good and, on him, um, mate. Yeah, but it was, I tell you what, it's hard going over there, man. Well, bit of a, I was a bit of a fish out of water. Yeah, yeah, were you? Yeah, because of me, yeah, uh, you know, being a New Zealander. Sure. And they sort of, like, ever, real surfy culture over there. A lot of blonde hair, blue eyes, um, not a lot of bulging eyes. Yeah, very much, mate. And um, I especially because... Being a teenager, of course, your bulges would have really stuck out at that age. Well, I mean, look, they let it be known that they'd noticed them. I'll be honest. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it didn't help, actually, when I started, uh, had a bit of a connection with one of the cheerleaders there. Oh, and, right. Uh, you know, Sparks. Oh, of course, LA cheerleaders. Sparks, that's, yeah. Sparks were flying, but of course. Was she blonde and blue eyed as well? Can yeah, you? yeah. Yeah, yeah. She was an Amer- all American girl, I guess you could say. Yeah. And uh, her ex did not like me. I can promise you that. Because you liked her or because of your bulges? Well, because of the spark that I had. Oh, you know, right. Yeah, yeah. You know what it's like when you're that young, man. Sort sure. Of, you know, people don't like it. Anyway, so um, he was him and his mates would bully me quite badly, if I'm honest. And um, I was coming home from a party once. I poured some water on them, get them good, you know. I turned the hose on them and that, and they chased me down the street and they beat seven shades of shit out of me, yeah. if I'm honest, Chris. Wow. And I was just on the brink of passing out, and I just saw um, saw our uh, building manager <coughs> just absolutely laying into them, and he he smacked like seven of them over. Wow, um, incredible! And um, and then I passed out, and then when I came to, I was back in my bed. Lucky Mum was a nurse; she sort of sorted me out. And yeah, that. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, it was my building manager, so I said, "Hey, man, can you teach me how to do karate?" Um, because these guys all went to the same dojo. He said, look, I'm not going to teach you how to do karate, but I'm going to go down there and we're going to have a word with the sensei down there because this is out of control. This is not what the spirit of karate is all about, or karate. Yes. And went down there. It turned out the sensei down there was a real bad hombre. You know what I mean? And he was actually, um, he he was kind of polluting the minds of these young guys and making them bully people and be real sick. Yeah, which is you know? not in any way what you're supposed to be doing with you're karate. Not, you're not at all. And Can I just ask, did, you, did your um, landlord or the landowner, did he use karate himself on these guys? Yeah, he was whipping up a storm. Oh, right, yeah. Quite a small, um, I guess I'd say oriental sort of a guy. Um, and anyway, he said, look, um, you guys, you got to call your boys off. And he goes, no way, man. If he, he was talking about me, he goes, if your mate there is too soft, if he can't hack it, then that's just too bad for him. And so Mr. Miyagi said, all right, well, I'm going to train him up for was the... His name? Uh, what was his name? Mr. Miyagi. Okay. Um, I'm going to train him up for this uh, this karate tournament that's happening. You tell your boys to not bully him in the meantime, and uh, we'll see what happens uh, at this tournament. Mm. So he was there to start training me up. He's got me washing his car, painting the fence, you know. Is it really starting to... Annoy me actually. His wax was on, the wax was, was off, off yeah. painting up, down, left, right, you name it. Uh, what a drag. And, um, you know, so I sort of questioned him a little bit, but I had to sort of take it because he was my teacher. Um, and he was a really nice guy. He actually gave me a uh, bright yellow ugly car for my birthday. Wow. Which was pretty cool. Uh, but I always felt like he was trying to hit on my mum. <laughs> Well, she's an attractive woman, I'm sure. Uh, absolutely. Um, and anyway, we get to the uh, we get to the competition. I'm just whipping everyone's ass. Uh, but it gets to the semi final, and one of the guys from this uh, dojo, from this dojo, thank you. Um, he 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 swept my leg, man. He kicked my kicked my leg, and man. I was out, man. That was me gone. That was me gone from the tournament. Full on. Uh, but uh, then I got Mr. Miyagi in the changing room to give it the old. Because I don't know if you know this, Jase, but when you rub your hands together real warm and put them on things, it fixes all your injuries. Oh, yeah, Do you do. know about that? Oh, that's what I wanted to do with your back. Yeah, yeah. I wish you would. Um, so anyway, I did that, and I was brand new, and I went out there, and uh, I overheard the dojo guy telling his guy that I was in the final with, I think his name was Johnny, um, to sweep the leg, sweep the leg. And big mistake, big mistake. Because what I did was um, I stood on one leg, and I put my arms up in the air, like a cr- like a kind of like a a crane, a crane, yeah, yeah. like a crane. Well, I've never seen a crane that looks like that. Yeah, no, true. No, be quiet, please, Chris. 
And anyway, he came <laughs> running at me. <laughs> Sorry, And guys. I just went, whabang, and just kicked his head off. I mean, I kicked his head clean <laughs> off. And uh, everyone came, there's blood everywhere. <laughs> And everyone just came and picked me up and put me on their shoulders and cheered me out. Have you wow. ever had that put, put you on your shoulders and cheered no, you out? No, mate. Never in Man. my life. And um, there's a song playing. You're the best around. And nothing they can do will bring you down. I was like, that is so true, man. So, um, yeah, it was pretty good. Wow. And then I, got to, a- I got to hook into Ellie. <laughs> Sounds... <laughs> Amazingly familiar, but um, well, what a story, mate! Yeah, Far America, out. man, Oof. LA, yeah, dojo. They used to call me the karate kid. <laughs> <laughs>